Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. As you know, I'm Laura Hatch and I have a guest speaker here with me or a guest um, uh, insurance guru, Colleen Huff. Colleen, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you, Laura. So just to give you guys a little update of what's going on. So at Front Office Rocks, we're all about teaching teams and training and customer service and verbal skills. And if you don't know this about me yet, I do not love insurance. However, it's part of what we have to do um, in the dental office. It's just part of our everyday life. So Colleen Huff is our insurance guru coordinator. She loves insurance, lives and breathes it. So we're filming videos um, on Front Office Rocks and our insurance coordinator videos. And we were talking about some topics that I thought, why not share this on YouTube? Because I'm sure you guys are, are interested in this a little bit. So the topic we were talking about, I thought, I thought we could share on YouTube is just Insurance coordinators, how, 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 what are we looking for? What, what's their strong suits? How do, they, how do they do well in the position? So I thought about this because insurance coordinator is probably the most detail-oriented position. They should be. They've, they've got the most details to follow up on. So Colleen, do you want to talk a little bit about as an insurance coordinator or somebody doing insurance, what kind of systems, what you think about they could, should be doing in the office? Sure, Laura, thanks. Um, so as we were talking earlier, your, your various systems are gonna come into play. And if you don't have systems in place, you're gonna lose things. You're gonna lose money in the long run. Um, and without those systems, there, there's just so much that can fall through the cracks. So to begin with, one of the systems we talked about is how setting up a system in your practice as to when and how you're following up on your insurance claims um, and having it an organized time when you, that you get quiet time in the office, that you're not being interrupted because all of us know that unless you're a dedicated insurance coordinator, you're getting pulled. You know, the phone's ringing, you have to answer it. There's two patients coming out at once, you have to take care of them. So you have to make sure that you have a set system and a timing that you're looking at each thing. And I, I mean, you can be as, as organized as, you know, 10 o'clock on Monday mornings, I do this. Um, I have a, in an office that I'm in right now, we used to do on Wednesday mornings, one of the girls would go into the office away from everyone. We acted like she wasn't there so that she could get the breakdowns done that we needed done for that week. So we actually set up set times in the office that you work like you were the only one in the office. You left her alone, no one bothered her. And those so, systems are gonna help you make sure things aren't falling through the cracks. So let me just check, because a lot of doctors watch these YouTube channels. We have a great, if you're not already subscribing, subscribe below, because we're putting new content all the time. So you're saying that to, for somebody to follow up on insurance, they can't also answer the phones, do the plumbing babysit, and do the schedule all at the same time. You, we need to give them some dedicated time to, to really You know, on. yeah, we're, we're really good with those three hats and fit four balls in the air, but when you're on hold with an insurance company, it's kind of hard to check somebody out and un unplug the toilet at the same time. Uh -huh. So yeah, what I find the most um, effective way is to make sure they do get that dedicated time. And I know doctors hate that, I know that one of the biggest struggles they have is if they come up front and there's not someone instantly to check the patient out. But you have to remember that, you know, your patient comes in the door and they check in with us. And if your assistant is busy finishing something in the lab, they don't just stop what they're doing and rush in there. They have patients sometimes, they have a few minutes, they may have to sit and wait for a moment. So we have to make sure that our doctor, that the doctors need to understand that sometimes that insurance coordinator needs to get away from all of that craziness and has a dedicated time. The other thing that happens if they're constantly interrupted is it gets missed. Things get missed. Mm -hmm. And there's filing limits in a lot of these plans like we talked about earlier. If you go 90 days and something hasn't been followed up on for whatever reason and it didn't get sent in initially, you're not getting paid and you have to write it off if you're participating. Right. It's not that patient's responsibility, it's yours. So that kind of quiet time is essential in my opinion. Not now, just. I was going to say on the flip side now for the insurance coordinator, taking the time to step away because sometimes, I mean, insurance is not the most fun thing to do to sit on hold. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, right? Deal, deal. Talk on insurance. Like you do need to, if you're going to be that need like what are the just a couple quick tips on some systems or things you recommend to make sure they can do this efficiently. so what i recommend is that you have a set time um, that you're going to be looking at your 30 60 and 90 day claims uh -huh. um, that you have that time set aside you also want to have folders um, i like to do folders by insurance company so that i'm not going through that lovely automated system 20 times in one day for the same insurance company 
Right. Um, utilize the websites. The websites can give you a plethora of information now um, that makes it so you don't have to listen to the elevator music for, for five hours while you're waiting to get through. Um, another little tip that isn't something I had mentioned earlier, but um, calling on a Wednesday afternoon through a Friday to the insurance companies is going to save on your wait time. Oh, okay. Their highest call times are Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays before noon, oh, believe wow. it or not. There's a tip just on YouTube. So um, this was just a little tip of some of the stuff that we're putting on Front Office Rocks. We have an insurance mastery program where we are hoping to take somebody who doesn't even know what in and out of network is or an EOB and teach them what they need to know. Or even if they are an insurance coordinator, but maybe they've never been officially trained. Um, we've got Colleen here helping us with that. So the lesson in this one is doctors, Give your insurance coordinators the time of day and then insurance coordinators, or if you're in charge of insurance in your practice, then you need to respect this part of the job and really get organized and some systems in place. And of course, Front Office Rocks is here to help you. Um, we'll have more videos from Colleen. So this is a huge topic I didn't even think about. So if you've got insurance questions, uh, things you want to know, ideas, suggestions, put them in the comments below and we will add some more videos. So thanks, Colleen. I appreciate you uh, starting our insurance conversation on the Front Office Rocks channel. Thanks, Laura. You know how much I love insurance. I really do. Some people have to, right? Thanks, guys. Yes, we awesome. do. <laughs> exactly. Have an awesome day. You too.